Microphone check one. <laughs> ben we prom indeed my friend <laughs> welcome <clears throat> eager prom is here prevail prevail welcome everybody how are you let us start day two babies day two of eager prom what is it gonna hold for us today i don't know welcome hello hi Hello, hello, hello. It's going to, um, it's going to hold, you know, many more games today from the wonderful world of the Igro Prom, the festival of incredible uh, games, developers, uh, gaming and developers meeting streamers and, and game testers and people that enjoy games and hopefully can go into every single game with an open mind and even if it's not their genre, even if it's not their normal style, you know, to go in with an open mind and to experience those games from what the developer would like to have shown and shared with us. So, yeah, let's go. The first game we have today is called... <laughs> okay, 
Choice of life, wild islands. That is our first game of today. So let's have a look at what it looks like. You can already hear the beautiful music that it's bringing to us. Uh, if the sound levels or anything like that need changing, please obviously again just let me know and I will change them. If you can't hear uh, the game well enough or if you can hear it wonderfully, all of those things are great things. Tylexo again, I'm so, yeah, the gifted subs yesterday, thank you so much for being being, uh, being an incredible human. Belong play, welcome. Welcome, welcome. Privet. <laughs> Spasiba for being here. Spasiba for being here and being you and getting me uh, into this wonderful occasion that is the gaming festival. Woo. Let's go, let's do it. Are you ready? I am ready. Let's just check the settings, make sure everything's all good. And it makes this background, yep, yeah, good. Cool, let's do it. Okay. Sailor. Three lives at the top. Book on the left that says Q. Okay. If the ship needs sailors and nobody is signing up, where to find new blood? Swab the deck and listen. Remember what happened yesterday. Hmm. <laughs> R red um okay so swap the deck and listen so we can just pay attention to what's going on around us or remember what happened yesterday if the ship needs sailors and nobody's signing up where to find them I'm gonna go with swap the deck and listen Go to the tavern, look for some sturdy men, get them drunk, and bring them to the ship. Sounds like we're going to, uh... Okay, so swap the deck and listen. Why am I swapping the deck? I'm not a sailor. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Well, is the choice go to the tavern and look for sturdy men to get them drunk and bring them back to the ship? And then we think, we'll swap the deck and listen still. Or, why am I swapping the deck? I'm not a sailor. <laughs> um, let's just see what this meant. You don't know anyone. Okay, that's fair enough. Let's do, uh, why am I swapping the deck because I'm not a sailor. Uh, it's not your job. What are you even doing here? The captain, passing by, glares at you grimly. Seems like this is your job now. Okay, thank you. <laughs> uh, go to the tavern, look for some sturdy men, get them drunk and bring them back to the ship. Swap the deck and listen. Keep talking. I'll have a rest. I will swap the deck and... Okay. <laughs> then, they wake up tired. To... Tied to the wheel. And the ship's far away at sea. Okay, we, we've just got to realise, I guess. Escape from the ship. Accept your fate. Yeah, that's how you got here. Born a landlubber. Oh, landlubber, sorry. Born a landlubber. Now a sailor. I'm going to accept my fate. Whatever happens, happens for the best. But for who's best? <laughs> but for who? You don't know anyone. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, why? Uh, sorry. Won't see any land now till we reach America. Or so they say. But I know that's all lies. And what's the truth? 
I don't care about no stories. Okay, we're gonna go for... Um, and what's... No, I don't care about the stories. Because it's not that I don't care about the stories. It's that if somebody has said that there's us and then there's America and that's how long we're going to sail for, I would be like, maybe open-minded to the fact that there might be other other countries or places or islands that we may see that are, is not America. So I would be open-minded to finding different places. The sailor called you a coward and went to annoy other sailors. Soon, the captain called you. Oh my god. Why are you sitting here doing nothing, landlubber? <laughs> Go tie rigging knots, or I'll skin you alive. I understand what you're... I don't understand what you're saying. Yes, captain. Uh, you were made to tie stopper knots. If only you knew what those are. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. Okay. You're doing it r r r wrong, land lubber. You put this end th th there. And that end th here. Okay, so you put this end here, you put this end here, or where did this parrot come from? <laughs> Coward! I, I kind of want to know where the parrot came from. Maybe he's like sat on the captain's shoulder, but we weren't really paying attention because the, the captain shouted at us and we got scared. Um. I would like to know where the parrot came from, to be honest. Uh, seems like he got here while you were fiddling with the ropes. Is he a captain's pet? Dun dun dun. <laughs> Do it yourself! Oh, okay. <laughs> the parrot. <laughs> the parrot suddenly got aggressive. Um. All right, land lubber. If we're going to, um, if we're going to do it r r wrong, we need to put that that that, that there into h h h h here. I think we should go middle, because that way it's just going over, whereas the other way is going over and down. It makes no sense to me either, but we're going middle. Dum dum dummy <laughs> Can't make it out Put that end here Put this end th th there <laughs> It's your captain who's the dummy cheeky smiley face <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, that's kind of talking to a parrot, but um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna insult the captain anymore. Maybe it's this one. Please be that one. Try as you may, you're bad at knotting. Now, you have to keep untying the knots for the rest of the day. I'm taking orders from a parrot. It's all the parrot's fault. Give up on everything and run away to the hold. I'm going to say it's the parrot's fault because he didn't really give me any good directions. Oh, we lost a life. The parrot pecked you very hard and flew away. And the captain hit you for disrespecting his friend. How rude. Okay. We've lost one health already. So time is passing by on the ship, and there's more and more work to be done, and more and more hungry mouths to feed, even though just a couple of slides, there were no sailors on this ship. Never mind. 
So help in the gallery. Swap the deck with the others. I'm going to help in the gallery. Uh, you could learn to cook here. If only they cooked anything edible. You noticed that the cook is stealing food. Off with their heads. Tell the other sailors or steal too. I'm going... I, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say you know sailors what's going on with the with the with the food Mr. Chef dude is stealing he's stealing they may not like that the sailors get angry and want to give the cook a beating but they can't he's the captain's wife's brother he's uh, not to be messed with Everything leads back to the captain here, I'm noticing. <laughs> okay. Cannoneer. Brothers! Get down to the cargo hold for a bare knuckle fighting. Anyone who doesn't come is a captain's rat. I am going to participate. You walk into the center of the hold. Right then, a sturdy sailor gets up, who obviously wants to show everyone his strength by demonstrating it on your teeth. Your opponent aims a heavy blow at your head. You could jump aside, block the hit, or hit him in the stomach. He aims a heavy blow at our head. He's already bigger, we've, dis we've established this, he's a big guy. So I don't think simply blocking is gonna help. Jumping aside would be pretty damn good. Hitting him in the stomach, because he's so big and whatever that it's, it's given us, I'm gonna say that that's not going to help too much. So I'm gonna jump aside. Hopefully that'll get him off balance. Once he's off balance, we can like that, you know? <laughs> Read it with the pirates R. Okay, sorry. I will. Uh, jump side. Block the hit. Yeah, we're not going to block the hit. There's no way he's going to block. So we're going to jump side. You jump aside. And the opponent hits a thorny beam with his fist. With all his might. Sorry, I just made up words. However, this just makes him angry. Your opponent holds your shoulders with his left hand and aims at your teeth with his right. He's got us on the shoulder with his left hand. He's aiming his fist at our teeth. Do we headbutt him? Oh. Or do we raise the knee? Um, if he's holding us at a distance and he's aiming at our teeth, I'm going to go with the, the up close headbutt. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> you bump your head against him with all of your might. Your opponent's head turned out to be stronger. We are losing... <laughs> Your opponent tries to trip you up. Make a quick turn and parry the hit. Trip over and grab the opponent. I'm gonna make a quick turn and parry the hit. You messed up on the turn, tripped over and took some time to stand up. Your opponent is declared the winner. What is going on? We are failing at being a pirate. Well, well, what are you doing here? Loafing about? I'll skin you alive, you vermin. Run out of the hold. Hide in the nearest barrel. I'm gonna run. <laughs> you didn't get far. The captain caught you. It seems that you will undergo a harsh interrogation. Oh, come on, man. 
are the land lover. Well, we will tell... We... Well, will you tell me who organized those fights? Or maybe you want to get to know the captain's daughter. Rat out the commoner, or hold your tongue vil vil valiantly. Sorry, hold your tongue valiantly, or rat out the cannoneer. The last time we ratted someone out, it didn't do us very good, did it? Really, because they just wanted to beat somebody up, and then it turned out that we had to do something too. So, um, but I don't want to. I don't want to piss the captain off anymore because I feel like we've done that enough. Okay, whistle. Uh, title received. Whistler. Fortunately, you weren't the only one who confessed. If it would be so, the cannoneer would explain to you the evils of snitching. But now he has more important things to think about. So we have a whistler. Now we've earned the title of whistler, which means basically we're a rat. <laughs> Perfect, Bron. <laughs> Right, this is the cannoneer. Uh, what's he gonna sound like? For all those food running out, the work doesn't stop. It's the second week already, and we still haven't been seen, America. No, we can't even have fun, brothers. Let's rise up against this tyranny. So we can either rise up with the guy that we just ratted out, or we can say, no, I'm not being a part of your tyranny. No. You were tied up and thrown into the hold. Bollocks. <laughs> okay. Ways are opened. Muni munity. Map moving. Map scale. Mut uh, mutiny, sorry. Mutiny on the bounty. That's a, that's a, a real life thing. Well, that's us, right? Ooh. That's me. Bird. Uh, ways on the ship are opened. Scale. Moving map. Hold on. Mutiny. There's only one thing to do. Yeah, mutiny. Okay. The sailors went to mutiny. But they left several of them to watch you. You hear talking above. Then, someone's words are interrupted by a gunshot. I've changed my mind. I'll support the mutiny. Move the guards to pity. <laughs> basically tell a story to make the guards be like, Oh, you've had a, such a terrible life. You may go free! Try to untie yourself. I'm going to try and untie myself. Oh my goodness, we're dead! <laughs> this, notice, this notices you immediately and decide to give you a good beating to make you sit still. This notices you immediately. This gets you noticed immediately, is how I would change the wording of that one. This gets you noticed immediately, and they decide to give you a good beating to make you sit still. So now we're dead. <laughs> You've managed to avoid the shipwreck because you died before it happened. <laughs> uh, we didn't live for very long. <laughs> How long did we get? Oh my god, we didn't even last half an hour, man. Okay. Right, we're not going to do that again. Fuck, we're going to be one life left.
Move to the guards to pity, or would you change to, to support the mutiny? Let's change. Look at this smart, look at this smart guy. We have enough people without you, and we don't need traitors. Oh shit. <laughs> the battle is still going. The guards are starting to get bored and swear at you for having to watch you. Uh, suggest they play riddles. Suggest they sing. I would suggest that they sing. Sing me a sea shanty, you wee bastard. Everyone sings along with you. And waiting for the end of the mutiny becomes a bit less worrying. See? Singing! It just brings everybody together. There once was a boat that put to sea, the name of the boat was a bully of tea. The winds blew up her bow, dip down below, my bully boy blew. Soon day the weller man come to bring us sugar and tea and rum. One day when the tugging is done, we'll take our leave and go. Okay, so now we can sing. Hopefully we... Oh, look at that! There's no say, uh, shame in singing out of tune if everyone is doing it. <laughs> I whistle along to the seventh day. Okay, cool. And we have another one. Cannoneer. Brothers, victory is ours. As a new captain, I command you, let the old captain and his benchmen. It looks like a bee, but it's a her. Huh. Henchmen, leave on the boat. At least they aren't making me go with them. Almost all of the captain's supporters are dead. Only two sailors and the navigator go with him on the boat. For some reason, they smile suspiciously as they float away on the open sea. I feel like they're going to... Uh, Um, <laughs> have a feast with everyone else. Rob the captain's chamber. <laughs> what? Okay, so there's a few. There's a few of us now, but we can handle it. So let's celebrate our victory, especially since there's enough food for everyone now. So I think have a feast with everybody else. We will try, although he doesn't really like us. We could sneak off and rob him, but why would we do that? Because it's just going to get us dead. I don't think he's going to let us sit with him, though. Oh, we got more food! Yeah! No. There's really plenty of food, and half of the sailors cook better than the dead cook. There's an abundance of rum, too. Yay! Stop, stop! Stick steer, stick steer, navigate, rabble, rabble. The captain left us his parrot. What storm are you talking about? And what has the navigator got to do with this? Why am I suddenly sweating? Um, what storm is he talking about? Fools! Fools! Be careful! Be careful! Uh, now the parrot won't let you go. He flies after you, even after you've fed him. Oh. What? A day has passed. And another one. And another one. You're no longer recognizing constellations in the night sky and there's no land to be seen the new captain gives orders every day but does he really know what he's doing dun 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 cannoneer are you sure you know what you're doing I'm starting to understand what the parrot was saying see you in Paradise. 
Oh, Orlando is nice. Yeah, hello, Orlando is nice. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I saw land. That point on the horizon. I told you I know what I'm doing. Hooray, we're so close. Or, it must be a mountain. We still have a long way to go. Should we just cheer for him anyway? Because he's a bit, like, piratish. <laughs> Hooray! We're so close. Um, just cheer with him. Before you could rejoice, a really scared sailor approaches you. Captain. That dark cloud on the horizon is a sign of an approaching storm. It's coming towards us. God, Captain, we're doomed. It's all right. We'll reach land before it's too late. I'm going to go with this one because I don't want to tell everybody that we're doomed. Um, but it's probably true that we are doomed. But I would like to make everybody think that we're not. <laughs> Let the navigator and the boats wane. Uh, watch us succeed without their scholarships from hell. That's a bad sign. <laughs> uh oh. Can a bunch of low experienced sailors control the ship in a, such a situation? Yes. The shore is close. But the storm is closer. Set course for the shore. Prepare for the storm. I think we should um prepare for the storm. And and not just uh just set course. Prepare. There are many ex land lovers who were tied to the ship's wheel not so long ago. But now there's no veteran boatswain who knows how to survive during the storm. Okay. If you could land before the storm begins, everyone would certainly survive. But if you already, if you're already in the hands of the storm, then being so close to land is, on the contrary, very Crap! Okay. <laughs> Ways that are closed, mutiny. Ways that are open, storm. Beautiful. Is that storm? Yep. Okay, so... Um, <laughs> so we get... Uh, when we come out of the, the, the storytelling bit, then we get to see, uh, obviously, the ship that we are on. Lovely little, um, I would say this is hand drawn, maybe, um, and it's almost like um, you know, little pieces of on Monopoly. So when you get to a certain section or you reach a certain bit, um, or it, 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 kind of like Monopoly and um, trivia, that Trivial Pursuit game, where you have to answer questions to uh, collect certain amounts of. Um, coins or, or pieces so that you can eventually move to the inner circle to then complete the final question and win. Um, so this one, I guess, is, is kind of the same in, in those kind of things where we've obviously gone down a path. We've got two health. We had three in the beginning, so we lost two. We ended up gaining one um, after the new captain <laughs> took over. So we are now in the storm. Okay. The main mast is cracking at the center and going to fall. You're standing right in its way. Run aside or thrust yourself to the base of the mast. Um, I don't know if that would be a good idea in any situation. I guess if he thinks he's strong enough to hold up a mast that's being pushed by the wind in a storm, then do that one. I'm going to run aside. Oh, motherfucker! A blast of wind changed the direction of the mast. It fell near you and nipped your fingers. Why is it nipping me? Hmm? 
it. I can't, I can't clutch the railings anymore because my fingers have been nipped. Clutching the cannon would be a big hug, wouldn't it? So I'm going to hug the cannon. Oh my fuck. <laughs> the cannon helped you stay on board, but the next time the ship shook, the cannon fell on you. Okay, we died again. <laughs> All right. Ship. Wreck. Storm. I'm ready. So, what did this do then? Okay, slivers were flying everywhere, but by some miracle, they didn't hit you. Maybe not go for the office on this game, is what I'm kind of learning. So now our fingers are not wrecked, so we can clutch the railings. For some time, you're hanging over the uh, oceanic abyss. Your fingers starting to bleed and unable to hold on any longer. Then, the ship bobs on the next wave and straightens up. Ooh. Don't panic. Hoist the boats home. We have two of them. There's enough for everyone. Go to the stern boat. Go to the rowboat. What? 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 We have two of them. There is enough for everyone. Uh, I'm gonna go for stern. I'm gonna go for the stern. Yeah. A huge wave lifts the ship, knocking you off your feet. The ropes holding the boat tearing. The boat flies out, crashes against the ship's steer. Go to the rowboat. I'm sorry, go to the, oh, the bow. Yes, because there's the stern and the bow. Yeah, <laughs> not bow boat. <laughs> As I read that, that's bow, but it's, it's ships are bow, bow and stern. So now we're gonna go for the other one. All sailors who are still alive are gathered near the boat. But there's not enough room for everyone. I wonder... What the fuck? The boat hasn't even united. Uh, yet, when the knife fight began, nobody wants to stay on the ship. And nobody wants the boat to overload and sink. I'll be on that boat at any cost. Think of another way to save yourself. I'm gonna choose the lesser evil and not stab people, even though we are a pirate. <laughs> the uh, detailed plan of saving yourself, written with reeds on the deck, seemed perfect before it was washed away by another wave. Why do I need to write a plan down? <laughs> did the, 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 can, 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 the, can the pirates not just think? Okay, can I can I invoke choir singing now? I'd like to invoke everybody to sing. I've got no skills. Okay, so there's there's a character list, there's an item list, there's a skills list, and there is a titles list. I think we are aiming for, or we could possibly get this title. Uh, nope, that was just me clicking. Cool. So, oh my goodness, there's so many titles to get. Ooh, so replayability-wise, there's 15 pages of titles to uh, unlock. And I guess... Um, if we're talking about replayability of this particular game, um, trying to get all of the skills, trying to get all of the titles and items and characters. Um, and I think every single replay, if you obviously do things differently, um, you get different outcomes. So re replayability already. Tick. Uh, there. There. Not so many sailors near the boat. Many of them won't need it anymore. But the fight is still going. Should you risk it? I'd better jump overboard. Watch from a distance. Another one must bite the dust. 
Uh, we are going to... There are many... There are not so many sailors near the boat. Many of them won't need it anymore. Should we watch from a... From a distance! You successfully waited until everyone was washed from the deck by five... By a five meter wave. Huge it was. Huge. You'd never believe how big it was. You're paddling as hard as you can, but you don't move even ten yards forwards. A fragment of a mast just fell into the water near you. Had it been a little to your left, you would be underwater. Paddle forwards without pause. Clutch the fragment of mast. You're pedaling as hard as you can, but you don't move even 10 yards forwards. So we're paddling, but we're not moving. So to paddle forwards without pause, I don't think we're going to gain anything. So I'm going to clutch the mast. The bollocks! For a moment, it seems to help, but the next wave blows the mast out of your hands and almost drowns you to the watery depths of hell. Okay. Now we got one health left. Help me! Or help me, please, help me, I'm drowning. Help the cannoneer. Don't help the cannoneer. Now listen. I am a human who believes that no matter what other humans have may have done to you in the past, what they may be doing in now, you know, humans as humans, we are one thing. We are humans. Everybody shares that commonality in life. We are all on another one thing, and that's Earth. So for everybody at their base level just can remember that we are all humans and we all live on Earth, that is a great place to start. And imagine that they are brand new people. So I'm not, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna help. And even if it causes me to die, I'm still helping him. You try to save the cannoneer, but with no success, the sea pulls you both to the bottom. And we died again because I tried to save someone. <laughs> does that, hold on, does that mean that we actually have got to let him die? Alright, so that one. We clutched the railings. Uh, let's go for that one first. Also, this would have still alive. We're going to go that one again because I didn't, I didn't want to hurt anyone. Watch it. Yep. Success. Uh... Paddle without pause. Okay. You've run out of energy pretty quickly, but you've managed to stay afloat. Okay. Now, this is this goes against everything that I believe in, but I'm going to do it so that we don't lose a life. <laughs> so we're not going to help him. Sorry, buddy. Okay. Former cannoneer. Former captain of the ship. Now, he's formally alive. <laughs> he did. Okay. A huge wave covers you and pulls you somewhere at great speed. Fight the wave. Trust your body to the wave. I'm going to trust my body to the wave. Thanks to this wave, you got much closer to the shore, but it's unlikely you'll have such luck again. Get the parrot! He can come in, swoop down, pick me up, and then we can all just fly away together and be happy. Stop! 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 Right! 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 What are you... Arr, what are you doing here? Shoo! Do you not where, where, where you go? I think we should take this motherfucker. It's hard to say 
How can the parrot know anything about storms? Maybe he was the navigator. Maybe the parrot was the navigator in this scenario of game. But when you follow him, you feel less tired. The shore is very close. You're very close to the shore, but now you're too exhausted to fight the storm. No! Final push! Give up and submit to the waves. I think no. Final push! Come on, you gotta do it, buddy. But by some miracle, you still have the strength to reach the shore. But had it been a yard further, you would have drowned. Somehow, you manage to get to the shore and crawl up to a place where the waves couldn't get you. That's a reason to be happy. Unfortunately, you're too exhausted to be happy. <laughs> Breathe out. <sighs> You descend into sleep. The storm destroyed the ship. Nobody from the crew managed to survive. You alone were swept to an unknown, unknown, inhabited, uninhabited shore. So that's the boat that we were on. This is the this is a parrot that saved our lives. And this is us. <laughs> You're alive, but for how long? Thank you for playing the demo version of Choice of Life, Wild Islands. Well done, everybody. We did it. Hell yeah. Game number one of today done. Tick, tick. Choice of life, wild islands, opinion. Here is my review of the game. Do I play games like this normally? No. Have I enjoyed playing a game where your imagination is put in? So, if you can imagine playing Dungeons and Dragons, rolling a 20 dice, um, this game kind of feels the same in the, the aspects of in in D and D Dungeons and Dragons. You are you are creating a world, and there is a person who is giving the world the instructions, and they understand what twists and turns are going to be coming. But as a player, you obviously don't know what twists and turns we can are going to be coming in that that land of play. So with this and, and the style of how they've done it is obviously you are put onto a boat super, super early on um, and you are straight away given the choices of are you going to just play along or are you going to resist a little bit? Are you going to join in with the mutiny or are you going to say, I don't really want to do that because of your moral, I don't want to do that. But you saw when I wanted to save the captain or the or the, 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 the cannoneer, I wanted morally to save him. But the game, if we would have had another health, we, we may have still been alive. Um, but it still killed us. So it, it then made us change the way that we played the game. So it, it, it gives you it gives you the options, but also I wonder how many how many different pathways there are in each scenario and having the system of different titles to get, different items to get, different people, characters that you get to learn and know. Um, obviously as well we saw the boat being um, used as part of our way of getting around and seeing once we had done the um, the text boxes after we had passed through and then it was it moved on to the screen where it said we moved to the mutiny or we moved moved to the storm those bits uh, and I can imagine when once we get onto the onto the rocks and into the island 
there'd be lots of different places where you get to go and explore and then lots of different again decisions to maybe hunt um do you hunt certain things or do you leave them alone do you want to be quiet do you want to do it stealth do you want to do it loud i think it's got a lot of um a lot of potential for for people who enjoy just sort of sitting back and and going through an adventure in your mind not necessarily having all of those graphics and all of those screen stuff happening but you are doing them in your own mind so if you have an open mind and you like sort of exploring almost if you like reading books and you would like to feel like you were you were able to change how that character or how that person gets through life or have a little challenge to yourself this would be a great game for you yeah that'd be super cool so i think um i think that's really really cool i really really enjoyed that so well done choice of life wildlands that was super super cool oh lucky <laughs> oh lucky okay so next game we have is hold on a minute Stuck. Next game, let me just check that off my little list. Next game is uh, Mechanic 8230 Mission City Tone. Okay. <laughs> that probably makes as much sense to you as it does to me right now, but that, that, you know, we, we, do, we do these things because we love them. Loud noises. Uh, right, let's load that game. Uh, yes, you, my friend. Once this is loaded, we can... Bum, 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 go back onto the... Uh... Yeah. Ooh, has it got an update? May have had an update since, um, since me downloading it for this event. No, we should be good. Is that on? Yay! Oh, this is going so much better than I imagined. I didn't realize I was going to actually be able to do these transitions nicely for all of us all the time. <laughs> but um, but they're, they're happening, which is great. So this one, again, uh, is called... Nope. Mechanic. Oh, I need to change the name on the stream. Whoopsies. <laughs> I like the music already, it's nice. Uh, this one is called Me Mechanic Eight. Miss you should return. Yeah, baby. Okay, cool. Done. That is done. Uh, it's similar. Hey! Hey! There's none of this. It's similar to. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. We don't go in with these. We go in completely open. Fresh. And then whatever is seen on the screen, that is how we. That is how we. That is how we go about things. We don't need any pre and, and that's the thing. The way I am going about uh, sort of going about the, testing these games and, and trying these games for these wonderful, incredible developers and this wonderful festival is that we go into the games knowing nothing about them. Uh, and I really enjoy that sort of unknown aspect of, of what game we're sort of going to play. So mechanic eight two three oh i really enjoy how this is written look at that can you see that look at that Ooh. so we've got a new game level selection settings about an exit i'm just going to check settings can't see either two the volume that should be okay i think volume is okay for you guys right now can you hear the game Okay, new game. Let's hit it. 
after an unexpected confinement in a science lab. Virgo manages to carry out a daring escape from Ilgrot in the space shuttle. Along the way, he learns that the city is ruled by a heartless AI, which cruelly extracts the brains of the citizens, and also seeks to locate and destroy RO2. Meanwhile, its loyal henchman, Lecto, continues to relentlessly pursue Virgo and R2D2. <laughs> <laughs> Whee! Space! The f Virgo! What's happening? Where am I? R2D2. Ooh, ooh. Hello! <laughs> You've been unconscious for a while. We've just left the atmosphere and currently orbiting Bifris Dioa. Wait, what? What the? We're in space. Affirmative. That is correct. I think I'm done for. Your biometric reading indicates the pressure of stress, which could potentially impact your health. I suggest considering, considering stress reduction methods to help maintain your optimal physical condition. <laughs> <laughs> My stress levels will decrease when you explain who you are and where there's a mutant for all over a global. <laughs> Affirmative. Please allow me to introduce myself. I am RO2 and Automo Automos onboard maintenance robot from RO series responsible for servicing city tone sit stations personnel my serial number is two <laughs> 20 years ago I was assigned a mission to journey to the planet Bifrosta to locate and develop an ultra powerful energy storage module which is perfectly compatible with the station's reactor's standard interface. <laughs> My shuttle was attacked from the ground and crashed in the desert. The assault was likely orchestrated by AI of Ilgrot, also known as the Intellector. They can't have the same voice. But they have got the same voice. Refresh the game in the window with the RBS, please. Yeah. Is it done now? Is it? Is it? Oh, what is every time I come back on this page? It, it, it does the thingy jig. Okay, so hold on. It's freezing when I go back onto this page, which is, um, hmm. why do you go, why do you freeze, watch, I've clicked now, yeah, it's, it does every time, hmm, oh no, we're missing some of the things, oh, sorry, yes, I recall, that's a massive brain in the lab where they're tied tried to erase my memory and took away my okay they just go he's just going crazy on it now Woo -hee! lend me um well for the for the for the for the, for the very very short foreseeable future have it like this just for a second while it runs through these bits i get it this energy thing is way more important well your words were quite ironic this is a complex situation, yet my gratitude knows no bounds. Without you, I would still be lying somewhere in the wastelands. Dot 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 
I'm so sorry that it broke it. Come on. No need for thanks. Although they could have melted a decent hammer out of you. <laughs> and I wouldn't have ended up somewhere in the endless cosmos. It would be unfortunate if the mission failed. I'm glad you pick up on sarcasm. <laughs> I possess substantial financial potential for growth, but I cannot speak. <laughs> I cannot read English or pronounce any words. That's <laughs> All right, I think that's enough. Curiosity brought me here. Space energy modules. That's all cool, but I'm all about screws and screwdrivers right now all I want is one thing to go back oh. Oh. That's it. in the rocket we go <laughs> mayday mayday um yes I will see as soon as we get the, the uh, chance to um Pause. I will. Uh, I'll try and fix the game because it's uh, it's not cool that it, it does this. And also, I wonder if I have two screens. If I if I put another screen on, is everything gonna go crazy? Like the super stupid loud. But is it the airlock opening? It seems that. No. To be honest, it doesn't sound very optimistic. The airlocks need to be opened manually. How is that possible? Where are you going? Engaging magnetic boots. Please stay here. I will be back shortly. I can't leave this place. I didn't even plan to leave. Don't worry. I can leave this place. <laughs> I think you many can't. Okay. When we can hit a pause, I will hit a pause. Let me just see if I can hit pause right now. Yeah, because it stops for you and you need to see. Uh. Hold on. Why is it doing that? But do oh hold on. <laughs> Can you see it now? Is that working? Oh it is, but it's very weird. But I'll put it like that, that's fine. <laughs> there you go. I fixed it, but I mean it's not the it's not the fix that I would have chosen, but there you go. That didn't just make it go crazy for you, did it? Ah oh, bollocks! Okay, I need to make mine small. Come on. Alright. Have it like that. And then we'll just we'll just do it. Okay. Final destination. Things are really bad. You need to proper equip. I'll look for a solution. Wait for me here. Ooh. Remote control. Uh, I'm not in a hurry. Okay. I'm not in a hurry. It's important. Do first lock. The central airlock that will protect the hangar from the space debris. Where's the uh Okay? It says if you to an holy attack water robot, it is perfect fit for the oxygen capsule, but we need to attach an oxygen better better to it. Okay. Oxygen. Remote controls. Uh, empty cylinder wires in the wall. Beam. Uh, reserve energy is uh, efficient for approximately one journey. Okay. The backup power source is nearly depleted. Can't reach. Terminal. Interface. Interface. Okay, just says interface. 
can't reach. Beam. Let's see what this does. So this uh, is a point and click again. Point and click game. Okay. Let's go and pick up that empty cylinder. If we can. I think he's going to go round. Yeah. Is he going to pick it up? Okay, so we've got a power unit and a empty cylinder. Awesome. Let's go and check out these wires in the wall. Wires in the wall! And you can see everything uh, on the on the top. Uh, there are... There have always been issues with this spot. I'm a robot, but not a very skilled mechanic. The wiring here is multicolored, but I only see in green hues. Then you haven't seen my magnificent beard, have you? <laughs> okay. Um. Ooh. Uh, is, is, is what keeps putting everything? That one does. Oh, that does move. Yeah. Okay. Right. So wires in the wall, which is great. Uh, I'm sure there must be. Uh, a funky way to make sure that that happens yeah, or that we can put them in the right way so that we get something that happens in them. Amazing music in this game. So I love it. It's very, um, it's got some good... It feels like you could let a cup go and just watch it float. That's how I see this, that's how I, I like, feel this music. <laughs> All right, so power reserve panel, we can, too far, okay. No, we need oxygen tank in here, okay. So little dude, you go over there, and then what I'll do is I'll give you the power unit, you put it in there. And then we'll have a look at the remote control, because I reckon that has something to do with the, um, only a two wire connector with positive and negative contacts is available for charging. So not that. No. No. <laughs> Terminal interface. Can't reach. No. It would be good to somehow recharge the energy reserves, but that won't help here. Okay. Can't reach. Let's press. Let's press some buttons on this and see what happens. The energy reserve uh, lacks sufficient power. The lift can only go down. It's important to first lock the central airlock that will protect. Oh, is it that one? Now we need to place the Virgo in an oxygen now we need to place Virgo in an oxygen capsule but what could we use well you can use this <laughs> maybe it says it belongs to an old liquid transporter river it is perfect to fit an oxygen capsule but we need to uh, attach an oxygen Reservoir to it. Have this. No. Anything else to pick up over that side. Wires again. Uh, now this is closed. Let's go and see if we can push the ship down. Or repairing something at home. <laughs> yes. Repair something at home and um, have no gravity. Just let everything float around you and be like, oh yeah, there's the pencil. Let's 
do a little drawing. <laughs> so there's a button. A door. RP3's head. RP30's head. One of my RP's series shell before the sabotage. The original uh, firmware program has been compromised. Does this door open? It's, whoopsie, not good. <laughs> Why is it not good? Do it again. Smack it again. <laughs> Terminal. I have a strange feeling that there's someone else here besides us. Don't say that. There is an aura. The city tones AI is physically, uh, it can't do anything without robotic assistance. I haven't been able to establish contact with it yet. Interface. Okay, it just says interface and doesn't tell us anything else about the uh, interface. Remote control. What is this for? Oh, hello. Hello, <laughs> thing. I don't know where you are, but. Ooh, hose. What are we going to put on there? Ooh, maybe that's. Uh, we could put that there. Boop. Too far. Okay. Go over there, Mr. Little Robot Thing. Go there, little Mr. Mr. Robot Thing, and do this. Yeah. Can't use it here. Empty cylinder on the end of a hose. No. Oh, we took the hose. Hose! Okay, thank you. Let's go down this passage. This area possesses potential threat. Uh, this is recommended to avoid direct contact. Terminal. The sensor's metrics confirm that the reactor is extremely unstable. Okay. Uh, cool. Let's go back in that way. If we can go back to the remote, uh, remote, and see if it goes anywhere else, I believe it will only stay on. Oh, what is it doing? What just happened? To I have no idea what I've just done to the shuttle, my friend. I, I don't know. The shuttle has experienced anti-gravity. Uh, it became almost weightless, however, without maintaining this state with a tow, it won't last long. With a tow? As in the hose? That could be a that could be a tow, right? No? Ah. Yeah, a tow. Let's go there again. I'm gonna do that anti gravity thing again and see what it did. Pick that up. Okay, anti gravity activated. Uh, and now maybe it won't work while Virgo is in the shuttle. Oh! Okay, put him down then. So now we have... You walk out here, little boy. <laughs> Button. I think that's going to take us up. Yeah. Alright. So we're going to go up. Then... The hose... He's gonna help us somehow. Maybe here. Put the hose on this and then on onto him. Maybe. First the hose can be attached to the appropriate tank. Too far. Try and do it there, bud. Fuck you. Too far. 
Uh, any test photos that suits both, uh, that's uh, already positive sign. Intact hose that's suitable, that's already a positive sign. So the power unit, maybe. Uh, no, we need an oxygen tank here. Okay, well, we have an empty one. What did it say? No, we need an oxygen tank. That is an empty cylinder. Okay. Wires, I'm going to go over and investigate just again. Just because it's fun too. <laughs> oh, yeah, we can't reset that yet. Um This is all a guess right now. That one looks dark uh than the others. <laughs> he only sees remember he only sees uh green. I wonder if it will just be like da da you done it. Or not, ta-da. Is that good? <laughs> I have no idea. Let's go and check the terminal again, little buddy. Go check it. And... Okay, that's main menu. Right. I thought that was like toolbox. What can you do with your toolbox? I do not... Freaking no liquid transport case. So that, we need to get that somehow to him. Remote control. Uh, it's useless as the energy reserve is completely out. Whoops. There's no energy left. Buddy. <laughs> Go back over there, buddy. Thank you. Only a two-wire connector with positive and negative connectors is available for charging. That is not it. I take it. So we can go over here. <laughs> we we'll try this hose again. First, the hose can be attached. Oh, it's going to probably attack. Wait a minute. Can we attach this to this? Okay. It's alright. We need an oxygen tank here. Can we put that on that? No. Dude! What do you mean too far? Come on. Come on, baby boy. Let's do it. Great! The tank is now filled with liquid oxygen. Half of the task is done. Yay. Okay. And now, I'm going to put this there. To ensure the capsule's safety, it is necessary to for security securely attach the tank and the capsule, forming a reliable connection between them. What could be used for this purpose? I think I've just done it, right? I have some uh, insulation tape. Catch! That's exactly what we need! Fantastic. Tape. Whee! <laughs> And now we're playing, um, Death Stranding. We have to be the delivery man with all the delivery things on our backs. Excellent! Now there's no doubt this is a reliable oxygen capsule and Virgo will be safe inside it. Virgo, hold your breath and get into the capsule. Nice! Why is the station shaking? It's giving me goosebumps. Structural strain is one of the signs that the reactor's resources are depleting, and that's why we need to hurry. See, I think we're meant to go, like, down now. As in, like, down where we went there. Actually, this dude can see colors. We cannot see colors, so he will go and help us do the wires, and he'll be like, yo, 
why were you, why did you put blue in the green and the green and the blue and the red and the red and the and yellow and the yellow and the blue and the red and the blue and the blue and the yellow fool <laughs> so hopefully he can be like yo yeah there's not thinking yeah cool so red um get the blue and then um red go up top move that one that's beautiful that's yellow and that's blue yay Woo -hoo! and there are the ah see this is so puzzle this okay so breakdown of this game so far as we are playing it this is a click point and click game where you also have to point and click and combine things to um, to then progress into the next level to lead you on to the next parts and once you've combined those things you can then move on to the next puzzle bit I guess if you if you're there uh, so yeah and there's the spare wire thanks for your help so now we have a spare wire which is awesome because that was that's needed for something uh, there was nothing else over there to pick up because we've already picked it up so Come on down over here, dear. Yes. Absolutely. Well, come on over here. Um, and now we have some wire and some blue insulation tape. I wonder if they can be mixed. Anything can be mixed. Oh, a power block with the wires. So now we can charge this. Ugh. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to stick that on there straight away and charge that, hopefully. Boop. Backup power source is fully charged. Yeah. Uh, and now, can't reach that, which is fine. Um, however, we can go up now. The lift can only go down. Okay, that's fine. We'll go down. Who's that? Uh, just wanted to see if, if we can use anything else, but no, that's fine. We'll go down, and then I think the um, the blue, either the tape or the wire, no, the wire and the thing uh, that you, we use that to charge. So if we can get the tape and the sucky sucky, sucky sucky ten dollar, we'll be able to um, stick these together, right? Then we'll be able to move. Maybe. <laughs> no, don't stop sucking. Sucky sucky, ten dollar. Let's try. It. What does what does that mean? We can actually pick the head up. I anticipate Virgo's response. What? I require at least a battery to recharge, but he doesn't have one in his head. Okay. Potatoes. The centrometrics confirm that the reactor is dangerous, yep. We cannot use on that on, on us. Okay. So we were to go in here, for instance. Remember there's a terminal there as well interface so remote control let's see what we can do with this bad boy uh, cool. this requires anti-gravity okay so yeah anti-gravity there and then I remember it saying too far We remotely stick that down. No. I use that here. That's a shame. <laughs> Pull it that way. Bye, ship. <laughs> bye. I don't know if you were meant to go that way, but but bye. Let's tie you. <laughs> nice trip. Maybe if we go up, up now. Um. Yep. 
Yeah, let's try going up now. Um, and see if it, it takes us a little bit even more higher. If that makes any sense. It takes us more higher. <laughs> Is he gonna take us up? Up? That one? No. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Go, buddy. There you go, my friends. <laughs> oh, thank you for completing Mechanic 8230 Episode 2 Demo. Feel free to report bugs in our Steam community. If you want to go back to the main menu, press Enter. If you want to quit the game, press Escape. Yo, thank you so much for the game. That was... um. I enjoyed I enjoyed playing this game. It was, it was, it was fun, for sure. It was fun. Um, what would I? What would I? How would I sum that game up? Um, a oh man. Okay, how am I summing this game up? <laughs> um, I'm summing that game up by. I think once you get used to what the game is is kind of asking you for, um, it becomes a little bit more. Uh, you you can become more aware of the things that the game enables you to do, like um, putting those things together, blending those things together to make um, like a new path for your character to go down. Um, Eclipse Two: Invasion of Darkness. Is what we have next, my fr my friends. Um, so let's have a look at that one. Eclipse. Um, eclipse two. Invasion. What? Does it not got a uh, thingamajig? It must have a thing for. For Twitch, right? Or am I just written it down wrong? <laughs> I'm sure it's here. Eclipse. Ek. Lips. Where is it? Yes. Ecl oh, okay. Maybe just Eclipse 2. Uh, we'll have a look. Oh. I like the noise already. It's nice. I think this one might work uh, as it was intended to. If it's still running right now and you can see stuff, then that's great. Yay! Awesome. Okay. So, I guess I should really um, give a little bit more information on uh, what I just played. I'm trying to. <laughs> this doesn't have a, a, a game on in Steam. Uh, not Steam, Twitch, sorry. I can't seem to, um, I'm definitely spelling it right too, which is weird. Cause normally I'm spelling things wrong. Eclipse. Eclipse 2. Invasion. <laughs> Invasion of the motherland. No. Invasion. Of darkness. It does not have a a thing. <laughs> Been on play if you're there, brother. Um and you know anything about uh 
I hope that ad, that ad break is finished, by the way. Sorry about that. Um, let's try again. We've got Eclipse, like one. Eclipse two is not there. <laughs> it is uh, not. To, it is not showing up on the, the gaming sees Eclipse 2 Invasion of Darkness It is not showing up uh, There is no way I can uh, promote the game Eclipse I guess maybe just Eclipse. I don't... Ah, oh, not a mobile game. Is it a mobile game? I have no idea. What is this game? Let me let me just see what this game is, is meant to be. Um, so it clicks to... Uh, an isometric story-orientated action RPG game that combines... Uh, Metrovania mechanics and the dynamics of modern action projects. Okay. But it is not allowing me to to choose the um the word for to update the stream. <laughs> I would really very much like to update the stream. And I can't, I can't put the name in it. Um, okay, so we're going to just go with Eclipse. But then is that not giving another game that may not be this game the, 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 the people? <laughs> okay, we can, we can, yeah, we'll just figure it out. We'll just go with, we'll just go with Eclipse. And then hope it's it's one of them. Yeah, I reckon it's that one. That looks the same. Cool. Okay. So yes, this is Eclipse 2. I have no idea about this game again, which is wonderful, because I don't I don't I don't want to know about the games before we play them. So this is Eclipse 2, Invasion of Darkness. Graphics. Uh, we could probably just stay on high, maybe. Uh, VSync off, full screen ratio, good. Audio. Is audio good for you guys? It's a little bit high, I think. Or is that actually nice for you guys? You like that? music slaps I like the music already Eclipse 2 Invasion of Darkness Let us go Single player Does that mean there could be a, a, a two player option? Maybe one day in the future? Счастливый <laughs> А я смогу когда-нибудь стать таким же сильным, как герой из легенды? Конечно. Но чтобы стать таким, нужно крепко спать и набираться Jeez. сил. Сладких снов, Томас. Элла. 
наконец и мне достанется хоть немного времени с тобой. В этот раз все будет иначе. Я решил, что с меня хватит походов и воинской славы. Я остаюсь. Теперь я буду с тобой и Томасом. И никогда вас больше не оставлю. Ты в прошлый раз так говорил, а потом ушел на три года. Нет, в этот раз все будет по-другому. Какого... Is this alien invasion again? <laughs> Ella. Ella. Thomas. Thomas. Oh, Что we are tied down. Где я? Шли! Лео! Что это? Нет. О -о -о. Нет. Не надо! What did we just go through? Прием. Меня слышно? Rick and Morty made a portal. Где ты? Что происходит? Успокойся, я не здесь. Но я постараюсь тебе помочь. Вот только... Боги, скорее вытащите меня отсюда! Потерпи немного. О нет! Хорошо, освободи! А, uh, что Сейчас, сейчас, еще чуть-чуть. Осталось совсем немного. А... Uh... Эй! Ау! Куда ты делся? Ну, да, да, да. Okay, yep. Oh, that was a quick game. <laughs> Eclipse. It's not Eclipse, is it? <laughs> yeah. Eclipse too. My hand. Что со мной сделали? Твою руку заменили на особый протез. Я объясню все по пути, но сначала нужно выбраться отсюда. Попробуй встать и походить. Я не могу. А... Тело не слушается. Сейчас. О, oh, I'm trying to press those buttons, by the way. А так? Упс. <laughs> We got a bionic arm. Что ты сделал со мной? I've woken up in worse situations, I think. Я исправил это и привел тебя превращение. Похоже, наш магистериум отметил твои знания и навыки. Решив вторжение. Ни черта не понимаю. Вторжение. Just see происходит? if there's any, uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna see if there was audio for English, but no. What? <laughs> oh, we can run? Okay, cool. That's nice. Hmm. <laughs> F for something. Objects that Voltaire can interact with are marked with a special icon. Get close to the object and press the button F. Okay, is that F? Где моя семья? Я должен спасти их. Я должен даже додуешь. Додуешь, додуешь, ка додуешь, ка фанда. Кто ты, черт возьми, такой? Бабушка, 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 я, я. Hello, everybody. Welcome, by the way, to the stream. If you are brand new to the stream, hello, I'm Vermin TV. Uh, you will find the streams on Twitch. I'll be doing this stream uh, for this absolutely amazing gaming industry showcase. Um, this will be game. 
number seven that we've played. Uh, so we've done five yesterday. This is the third game that we are on today. Uh, Eclipse 2. Invasion of Darkness is what this one is called. Oh my goodness! Did you see how many bad people there was to come and kill me? I think he just said something about Starbucks. Are we ginger again? Oh, that's nice. <laughs> there's a there's a trap door there. <laughs> <laughs> Okie okay, dokie. Представители Квантера. Если коротко, они из другого uh. мира и явились в твой, чтобы его поработить. Из тебя хотели сделать куклу. Из тебя хотели сделать мысли и замечать их голосом корабля, отдающим приказы. Я взломал его, поэтому ты можешь слышать меня. Квантера, ты говоришь на моем языке, но я с трудом тебя понимаю. Дешнебенгарала. О. Oh, hello, roboties. Похоже, тебе придется пробиваться с боем. You want me to go punch him? Поищи здесь что-нибудь полезное. You. Uh, when an item is close to Valeria, an item can be picked up with the button Q. Okay, cool. I for the inventory. Trousers. Nice! This is what we look like. This is exactly what Belong Play looks like. This is how... This is... He's so tanky. Look at him. He's a beast. This is actually what we look like body-wise. Under, under these baggy clothes. This is what is, is going on underneath. Okay? But the face... That's my man. Belong Play right there. That's my boy. <laughs> So we've got some, uh, what's that? A broken pipe. Oh, yeah. When he puts it in his hand, he's, it's, it's just in his hand, but I guess, come on, this is early, early, um, early access and early stuff. So these are things that, that you know, that they're going to pick up on and, and, uh, Put extra detail in and stuff. So yeah, good start. I like that. We've got we've we've earned some orange trousers and a broken pipe. You can get abilities. You get side quests. We all about the side quests. Uh, map so far because we haven't really gone anywhere. I don't think we've unlocked anything. But yeah. Uh, the combat system allows you to take the enemy on target and attack. In target mode, the enemy is selected automatically. Okay, so we can target or attack. Cool. Cool. <laughs> so, like, what are you doing? Okay, so yeah, when you press, you can see when I press target mode, it selects that particular target. And then if I click uh, it again, it takes it off. What? Oh, I like the physics of the ragdoll. That was nice. Сейчас открою. Иди и будь готов. Тебя уже ждут. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a laser beam. Uh, can you see that? What? Oh man, we got a dodge as well. Hell yeah, this game's great. <laughs> Что они сделали? Они пытаются поработить твоих собратьев. 
Пойди пытайся, да тут опаешь, да даешь. Пережили трансформацию. Клянусь. Если моя семья. Твоей семьи нет. Again, I don't know what any of them are saying. Захваченных только взрослые мужские особи. But I'm sure it's great. Whatever it is, they are saying. What is going on now? What? Yo! Okay, now I understand why targeting is very helpful. Oh no! One. Oh no, wait to the sword! Get up, get up! Thank you. You are getting done. What the f mada ba 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 the butto kumaya Holy moly That was me dead Bleh 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 Wow 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 I'm gonna use one of them I love the noises, they're like lightsabers. I don't want to get sprayed in the face. Hold on a minute. Let's see if we can get any health from anywhere. This is the option. Can we roll through that or are we going to die? <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to die. Okay, good. We didn't die. We need health. Like a lot. Oh, thank you. I won. Glug, 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 glug. Oh, we got two? We've got three! Oh, go, 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 go. So, uh, where I am, by the way, there is um, a button which says E, there's a button which says 1, a button which says 2. 1 uh, gives you a uh, health drink, and 2 gives you, um, I guess, stamina? Maybe not stamina. No. Stamina, I guess, blue is the, um, maybe extra power that we're going to have. So, health and stamina. But you can see top left um, is my health bar. And the blue bar is the one that we can also fill up with by pressing number two. And that is what I am hiding in my little corner. Where? <laughs> Here. Uh, on the game. But everything else you can see, which is uh, on, on, on the screen. Map wise, I don't think again we've got anywhere. I like this um, dodging system that they have going on. It's very cool. I like this reward system that you get to a certain thing and then you can um, open that up and it, 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 it gives you something. Ooh, I don't know if I'm ready to go yet. I haven't finished exploring. There might be extra loot. You never know. No, it's not. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Look at that. This would be a great speed game. Where was the elevator? The one with the really bright light. Yes. Yes! What's the time, dears? Oh, it's nearly time. Let me just check something real quick. That is not. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 
конце комнаты терминал. Коснись его своей рукой. I hope you guys are enjoying this game, by the way. Uh, audio ness. I don't know what they're saying to each other. I have no idea. Um, there is there is no comprehension of of what they are speaking about. I guess that they're talking about him waking up and him being a bit like, "Why am I here? What's happened to me?" And the other guy's like. Uh, it's not really important right now. The thing we're gonna try and do is get you out, so then we can have a proper conversation. <laughs> That's where I guess they're talking about. Really, I have no idea. Dude, let go of it. A control to use ability. Control E. Control. Well, that's not control. That's control E. What? I just fart on them. What do I do? <laughs> you can make them walk into the things. Okay, that's cool. Oh, look at him running around. <laughs> we walked into it too. I want to put him in the in the in the <laughs> chase me, chase me. Похоже, ты постепенно привыкаешь к протезу. Is he saying try again? Ты видел? Ты видел, что я могу? Это неплохое начало. No, учти, что протезу нужна энергия. I don't know if he's saying no shit or something, but it sounded good. В целом, генератор Whoa. внутри протеза должен аккумулировать избыточное тепло, вырабатываемое твоим телом, а затем трансформировать... Черт, нельзя ли попроще? Когда ты двигаешься, энергия накапливается. Но ты можешь ускорить этот процесс, выпив эликсир, повышающий температуру твоего тела. Не забывай смотреть I mean, по сторонам. Поиск how can you полезного. not agree with that? Дверь я починил. Но в следующий раз, если я скажу не убирать руку, это значит не убирать руку. Куда ты все-таки ведешь меня? К десантному кораблю. Единственный способ для тебя сбежать отсюда. Кораблю? Мы на море? В воздухе. Этот корабль может передвигаться по воздуху. Корабль в воздухе. Непонятная штука Оп. в голове. Безумный Опа! Только решил... Опа! Remember, ladies and gentlemen, that this is the third game of today. So what I'll do after this game uh, is I will have a little break and then I'll do the final two games uh, that we have for today after this one. Um, but for now, we will give this game the full attention that it deserves. I would love English audio over the top. Obviously, I understand that that's not going to come with every single game that I uh, trial and, and play in this in this wonderful festival. And that's okay with me. I, I'm not like, oh my god, they didn't put English in. Meh. I feel so... Uh, I feel so honored to be able to be playing these games and to be... Uh, being able to share them and show them to you and hopefully you guys will find something in these in these any of these games and be like that's really cool I like that and I'm gonna check that out for myself um, so yeah I hope that brings something this this uh, brings something to you and what what an amazing an occasion this is to be able to sort of see new games get them showcased to us and and yeah it's it's a beautiful thing and i'm really i'm really pleased and proud to be part of it it's great it's amazing so thank you everybody that is here right now everybody that may come in or see stuff all of the things as well that i'm going to be doing are going to be put on youtube they'll be on Bemry tv on youtube so check them out they'll be they'll be there every day all the time after this uh, big rope prom. If you are Russian, if you are in here and you are brand new, привет. Hello and welcome. Спасибо for being here. Appreciate you very, very much. Спасибо, 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 спасибо. I cannot say it enough. Спасибо. Thank you. Mm 
I think that hurts his other little robot friends as well when they do that move. Hello. Oh, yeah. That's what we want. Damage themselves. You're going to go bang. Okay, the target system is really, really helpful for when you want to sort of roll away and engage or when you don't want to be engaging with them and you can just roll away. But the, uh, the I would definitely suggest using the target system to lock on and lock off. Um, so it's almost like a click to lock on, click to lock off, click to lock on, click to lock off. Uh, but you lock on, go backwards and be able to swing whilst you're walking backwards as well. Which is very, very helpful. Especially when you're going against so many and you don't want to take loads of hits. Very good. Very, very good. Very good. Very, very good. Very, very good. Very, very cheap. Very, very good. Very, very cheap. So, I'm pleased we found this weapon. Otherwise, we'd be um, up a creek without a paddle. Should I say. <laughs> One, two, three. Well, those uh, mutants are a bit hardcore. The mutants remind me of the mutants from Stern. Another amazing game by one man. It's on Steam now if you wish to purchase it. Try it out. Stern. Great game. So, boom, that both? Boom, boom, everybody done? That's how you roll, baby. That's how we roll. Drink some, uh, drink some life potion. Oh, I nearly rolled into the beam. Черт бы тебя побрал! Ты можешь не нести свою дьявольскую чепуху. Скажи мне лучше конкретно, что я должен сделать? Видишь свечение? Твой протез реагирует на него. Подойди и коснись. Yes. What he said. Что это такое? What is it? Is it almost like an echo of what happened before? Or if we just created clones? И добыть крупицы информации. Черт. Я слышу их голоса, но ничего не могу понять. Да. Зато я могу. И кода там нет. Хорошо. Посмотрим на ситуацию с твоей стороны. Выбей ее. Abilities can affect not only enemies, but also help open new paths. Hit the door with volatile's ability several times to break it down the door this door one two three nice and what you could see as well is where it was impacting the door it actually had a little like spark come come from it so you know that that's making um a connection i guess so we we, we knew that that was happening that's cool are we going into space Nice. Yo, okay. <laughs> So, Eclipse 2, Invasion of Darkness, is there for you, my friends. What do I think about that game? What do I think about that game? Um, let's talk about the, the core of it to start with. So, how it introduced us to the game, um, at least in the demo. Um, I found it quite good. I found it quite intriguing to be like... 
why is this why is our character going through this and all of a sudden he's going through like a portal and then coming back through and then going it's almost like he was going through like trials and, and testing his body but they, they seem to have captured, captured him and gone you know what we're going to give you a bionic arm and if you survive you survive if you die you die um, so then he wakes up in the place and it seems like the other voice may be trying to help him escape from wherever he has just been um, so the other voice is talking us through like this is how you get out and it's a cool mixture of having loot that you can go around and find uh, there's there's health boxes and the stamina boxes which obviously I think when you use your ability your stamina depletes a little bit um, so yeah it's, it's a good I think it's a really good good example and a good start and a good a good demo for us to play and again it's one of those demos that you play a bit of it and it, it's like oh, just let me play a little bit more and that's you know it catches you in and, and this that this game definitely catches um, if you enjoy that kind of top-down the physics as well of the of the dead or the deceased enemies when you can hit them and still move them I always enjoy that they don't just become nothing or disappear um, the robots obviously blew up which are cool um, I like the way that the, the the world that can hurt you can also hurt the enemy um, and the enemy can also hurt the enemy which is nice I feel that that's pretty cool um, so yeah I think it's a very very good uh, game for its its style um, you can kind of jump into it I guess build different builds as well because you'll have different clothes that will do different stuff and different items different hammers maybe there'll be ranged weapons as well maybe I'm not sure um, but to me it was a solid solid have a look at this game and uh, experience this for now um, so absolutely awesome Again, uh, absolutely awesome. So the games we have done right now is Choice of Life, Wild, Land, Wild Island, uh, Mechanic 8230, Mission City Tone, and Eclipse 2, Invasion of Darkness is what this is called. Um, for some reason, it's not on Twitch at the moment to be able to promote it, um, but I think you'll be able to have a look at the game on... Uh, Steam, maybe we can we can have a look at that now real quick um, to see if that is something that you guys can do, or I'm just lying, <laughs> and I don't want to lie to any of you. So if it's uh, if it is on Steam, then that's absolutely awesome. If it's not on Steam, then it's somewhere else. Which um, uh, let me have a look. Uh, Lips. Eclipse 2. Um, no, I don't think that it's got anything yet on Steam either. Uh, so again, so it means it's in super early development, you know. Um, not a problem for, for, for me absolutely loved the game I, I found that really really fun and really entertaining to to go through the game and to experience that one um, in the sort of same style and, and the same way that we go about all of our games and all the ways that we're going to test them out um, completely open mind and yeah just to see where all of the games take us so the ones we've done today again Choice of Life Wild, uh, Wild Islands uh, Mechanic 8230 Mission City Tone and Eclipse 2 was the last one, Invasion of Darkness. The ones that will be coming later after I've eaten some food are dun, 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 Dead Weight and Last Shot will be coming later. So I've got two more games for you today uh, later. So if you want to join me for those, that would be absolutely amazing. Come in and say hello. Um, 
And all of these streams, if you have missed any of them and you're interested in, because there's such variety in all of the games that I'm going to be delivering to you uh, in the next like 10 days, um, there's so much variety and so many, I'm not putting them together in, um, there's this day where they're always going to be focused on horror or on Wednesday, am I going to do ones which are just like card based or I'm just go, I'm just picking them. And, and we're putting five together and then showing off what the developers are sort of putting out. So I never know what I'm going to get. You never know what you're going to get. And I like that. I like that a lot. So as long as we all go into it with open minds and positive outsets, then we can do it. And we can achieve wonderful, great things. So just come back, enjoy, follow. Tick your notifications, make sure they're on. Bemery TV on Twitch, Bemery TV on YouTube. And I will see you very, very soon for some more games. Thank you very much for being here, and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye for now.